And welcome to this exhibition clash between the New Orleans Saints and Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are hosting here and want to be able to keep the home field advantage going as we get ready for this one. Chris, what is the key in this matchup? Well, Gus, I think you said it best, home field advantage. This team needs to come out and rally early to get the fans on their side. If you have thousands of fans screaming and cheering, you feed off of that and you can turn it into some positive stuff on the field. This should be a great game in this one. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, Chloe tees it up, and he'll be kicking it away to get this one started. Number 33 was there to bring him down. They'll start at the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. Dumps it out right. And as we look at the key offensive players, receiver Marcus Colston out of Hofstra is establishing himself as one of the elite receivers in the NFL. Yeah, you're right, Gus. Marcus Colston helps any offense run as effectively as it can. Having the deep threat is vital to this unit. He's a big guy, but he also is just so strong on those underneath patterns. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Time to meet the defensive starters who are built to stop the run by being strong up front. Defensive tackle Kevin Williams out of Oklahoma State anchors a defensive line that is extremely strong. Well, that's because Kevin Williams is extremely strong. He's one of those few guys who can power through a double team and wreak havoc in the backfield. He's going to his right. Throws. They picked it off. He's wrestled down around the 21-yard line by Bush. And coming to the field, the quarterback, who hopes to lead this offense to victory in this game. First down and 10. Let's spotlight some of the key weapons on offense in the passing game centers around receiver Percy Harvin out of Florida, who is a very good deep threat. Yeah, even if you have a great running game, it's important to have some method for stretching the field, and Percy Harvin provides the deep threat that takes a lot of pressure off of this running game. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. And so now, let's take a look and see some of the key personnel on this defensive squad who will try to stop this offense from doing anything in this one. So it's third down, 13 to go following the sack. Throws it to the middle. He's dropped down around the 12-yard line by Riley. 
Gain of 10 on the pass completion. They'll line up the field goal unit. This one from 31 yards out. He splits the uprights. So that will make the score. The Vikings. Three. The Saints. Nothing. Cluey will be kicking off. Moore is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Camps under it. He will start from his own five. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Wright was there for the stop. They'll set up shop at the 21. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Passes out to his right. He's tackled around the 35-yard line by Greenway. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection, and any time that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. And we'll have a first down and 10. They're on their own 35. Thomas takes it up the middle. And he's tackled at about the 35-yard line by number 96. They'll face second down and 10. They're on their own 35. They'll give it off here. He's brought down at about the 37-yard line by Henderson. Facing a third and eight situation. Short throw to the left. He's wrestled down at about the 41 by Griffin. About four on that play. Fourth down. The Saints ready to punt this one away. Gets the ball at the 14-yard line. Gets to about the 24 before going down. Patrick was there to bring him down. He did a good job there, finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. Here's the give. Second down and nine. Flag on the play, first of the game. And that one should be on the defense. Dunbar is called for encroachment. Oh, 
Orton gives it up the middle. That was an impressive run for the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. They weren't able to get the playoff. That will cost them five. And it will come back. Penalty on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. Going down the middle with it. Breaks a tackle, and he's loose. He's dropped down around the 49-yard line by Greer. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Has a man short to his left. Makes the catch, and he's dropped. Nothing doing on that play. Hey, we won't do what we do. They line up at the 49. Coverage downfield. Fires a strike to the right. Brings in another one. He's tackled around the 34-yard line by Patrick. First down and 10. Ball on their 34. Has a man out to his right. And he's tackled around the 31-yard line by number 53. Just about three yards there. Really nowhere for the wide receiver to go on that one. I'm not sure if the quarterback realized it was man coverage on that play. Now they're facing second and seven. Tries selling the run, but ends up on the ground. Pretty obvious passing situation here after the sack. Third down, 14 yards to go. Throws to his right. He makes another catch. He's brought down right around the 10-yard line by Porter. Minnesota is trying to make this a two-score game. Peterson gets the ball. He's wrestled down at about the nine-yard line by Rodgers. Eight yards away from the score. He's searching for a receiver. Passes short right side. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the seven. Good defense all over the field that time. They had the deep routes covered, and when they tried to dump it off to the tight end, they were on it.
The offense is looking at third and goal from the six-yard line. Steps and throws to the left side. Comes down with it. Touchdown! Just a great route that time. No way that he wasn't going to catch that football and score with that one. That was beautiful. Extra point is good. Time winds down here in the first with the score. The Vikings, 10. The Saints, nothing. Minnesota is ready to kick this one off. Bush stands back to field the kick. And he'll return it from way back at the three. Cook was there for the stop. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt it away. They'll go to work at the 18-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Searching for an open man. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play, huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double-team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly, and that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's dropped down around the 11-yard line by Cook. Yeah, that sets it up now for third down. We always talk about third down conversions. But if you have good second down plays, it gives you a chance to get into some blitz packages now on third down. That'll bring up a third and long. Ball is on their own 11. After one quarter of play, the score is the Vikings, 10. The Saints, nothing. We welcome you back to Minneapolis. Looks right, throws. The Vikings came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. It's fourth down. The Saints lining up to punt. Fields the ball at the 30. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. They'll get the ball here at the 34-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. He's got a man streaking down the middle of the field. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down, coming up. Mm -hmm. 
So they'll face a second and ten. Peterson gets the carry. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line by Jenkins. I don't care how good your defense may be. You're asking for trouble when you start giving teams free first downs. First down, 10 to go. Peterson on the draw. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line by Robinson. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Here's the give. The Vikings seem to be unstoppable on the ground so far. They're ripping off big chunks of yardage at a time. It's first and ten. On the delay. He's brought down right around the 22-yard line by Dunbar. They're looking at a second and seven. Peterson gets another handoff. He's wrestled down right around the 16-yard line by Jenkins. First down and 10. Orton, hands off. He's dropped down around the 13-yard line by Harper. Four yards on that play. And just about 12 yards away. He throws short. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Drop for a three-yard loss on the completion. You know, sometimes as a quarterback, you have to be careful about dumping it down too quickly. Stand in there, see what you've got working down the field. That time, they were all over that quick throw. Third down and nine. Flips it out short to his left. Catches it and hit instantly. Short pickup. They were trying to work that ball down the field. There really wasn't anything there. They dump it off and not much underneath either. This kick will be from 30 yards out. It's up, and it's good. And with that, the score is the Vikings, 13. The Saints, nothing. Cluey gets ready to kick it away. Moore is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. And the tackle was made by Williams. They were forced to punt on their last drive. 
They'll start this drive at the 32-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They go with the run. He's tackled around the 32-yard line by number 96. They'll go from their own 32-yard line. Throws middle of the field. And he's tackled at about the 41 by Cook. A gain of nine yards on the play. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. Short throw to the right. He's dropped for a loss. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. It's fourth down. The Saints line up to punt. He will start from the 13. Gets to about the 24 before going down. Patrick was there to bring him down. Boy, that was a close one for the coverage team. They were able to wrap him up before he broke it open, but... He is on the brink. This coverage team is going to have to start playing with a little more intensity, a little more heart, or they're going to give up a big one. They hand it off. He's brought down right around the 32-yard line by Dunbar. And two yards away here on second down. Sacked on the play action. He just read that play perfectly. Was able to come free and get the quarterback. We're starting to see this more and more in the league now where guys fake like they're going into coverage, then come in for the sack. That'll bring up third down with eight yards to go. The ball is on their own 26. Fires a laser down the middle. He's wrestled down around the 37-yard line by number 53. Looks like he's a bit shaken up on that one. And we'll have a first down and 10. And he'll lose yardage on the play. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Second down, 11 yards for first. Hey. 
up the middle. He's dropped down at about the 39-yard line by Harper. Here they go, third down and eight. Short pass to his left. He's off for a huge game. He's tackled right around midfield by Porter. Clutch play by the receiver that time on third down. As a receiver, you really have to just flat out want the ball in that situation. You can tell that this guy really does. First down, 10 to go. Ball at midfield. And looks left. Throws. They'll face second down and 10. Good coverage downfield. He drops the easy pick. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw anytime, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. Offense facing another third down situation. They've been very effective converting on this drive. He's looking towards the left side. Brings in another one. Makes the grab. No signal yet. We'll see what they rule. Yes, he did make the catch. And he shows some fancy footwork to get both feet in bounds. You know, I think he's part ballerina almost out there. Not only does he have the concentration to pull in catches, but he has superb body control that allows him to get both feet in, despite the fact that all his momentum is carrying him out of bounds. It's a combination that has made this quarterback very happy over the years. Makes for an easy target, that's for sure. Yeah, and a tough target to defend as well. The quarterback can deliver the ball in a place where either the receiver catches it or the ball simply goes out of bounds. Fires a strike to the right. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Second down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 40. is out to the left and he's tackled around the 17 yard line by Jenkins it's first and ten They'll give it off here. They make the tackle, but not before he gives the Vikings a first down and goal. They've got the defense completely off balance. It's another first down. And you get the feeling this defense is fishing a little bit right now. They've tried a little bit of everything. Some man coverage, little blitz, little zone, little zone blitz, all these different combinations available to them. And yet time after time, these first downs keep on coming. Oh! 
They give it off here. Breaks a tackle, and he will score. Touchdown. Well, defensively in this league, you know you're going to have some running backs with moves just like that. And that time, the defense just looked like they were stunned. They were no match. Extra point is good. Cluey is ready to kick this one off. Moore stands back to field the kick. He'll return it from the six. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. Cox was there for the stop. The Saints are in a dangerous territory right now. This one's gotten a little out of hand, but a touchdown on this series. Maybe your defense gets a little momentum going. Dumps it out right. He's brought down at about the 31. By number 96, Henderson picks up about five yards with the catch. Brings up second down and five. Ball on their own 31. Has a man out to his right. He's wrestled down right around the 40-yard line by Mitchell. First down and 10. Has a man open in the middle. And the pass falls incomplete. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Has a man to his right. He's dropped down right around the 48-yard line by Mitchell. Dumps it out left. Watch out, he's got space. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass.
This one will be from 49 yards out. And he makes it. So after that kick, the score is now the Saints. Three, the Vikings. 20. You don't really want to kick it deep here and risk a return, so let's see if they kick it short to take us to halftime. He'll take it from the two. He brings it back to the 23. Thomas was there to bring him down. They'll go to work at the 23. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Gives it left side. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line by Smith. That'll be it for the first half of play. The score is 23. We welcome you back to Minneapolis. Minnesota will get the ball to begin the second half. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it back to the 25. Number 53 was there for the stop. Looks like we have an injured player on the field. And we'll have a first down and 10. Goes through his progression. Here comes the heat. Looks right. Throws. Harvin was the intended receiver.
So they'll face a second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Peterson gets the carry left side. And he's tackled right around the 34-yard line by Adele. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. Again, he'll get the call. He's brought down around the 40-yard line by Dunbar. Peterson looks to be a bit injured after that one. First down, 10 to go. Rice gets the carry. He's wrestled down around the 42-yard line by Harper. They're looking now at second and eight. Ball on their own 42. He's dropped down at about the 45-yard line by Ellis. Third down, six yards to the first. Ball on their own, 45. Flips it out short to his left. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line by Wilkerson. It's first and 10. And the play clock is at zero. This should be a delay of game. And it will come back. Penalty on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. Flips it out short. And the pass is incomplete. Second down and 15 to go. And they'll run him again. And we have a flag on the play. And I have a feeling this one is coming back. That seemed like a pretty obvious hold. Yeah, sometimes you have holding and sometimes you have tackling. That was a pretty good form tackle right there. Hands it to the back. And he's tackled around the 50-yard line by Dunbar. Not much, maybe two yards on the carry.
They're two for two on third down conversion so far on this drive. They'll try to convert once again right here. Throws to his left. Number 11 was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. The Vikings are lining up to punt it away. And it's in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over at the 20. First down and 10. Going for it all over the middle. The pass falls incomplete. They'll face second down and 10. Passes out to his right. He's brought down around the 34-yard line by Winfield. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Bush gets it on the inside. The Saints continue to get beat off the ball. Their linemen look tired. They're physically outmatched. And it's beginning to take a toll on these runners. I'm not sure how many more times they want to carry the ball. Second down, 11 yards for first. Short throw to the right. He's wrestled down right around the 36-yard line by Greenway. That play was really made by the coverage down the field in the secondary. Forced the quarterback to go to the check down throw, and then they came up and made the tackle. And that brings up third down and eight yards to go. Fires a strike to the right. He bats the ball away. Whoa, that was really lucky. That one wasn't picked out. Not a good decision at all there. It's fourth down. The Saints lining up to punt. He'll take off from his 18. And the tackle was made by number 51. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. The offense will take over at the 22-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Number 32 on the give. He's dropped down right around the 34-yard line by Smith.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 34. They hand it off again. He's tackled at about the 35-yard line by Riley. We've got second and nine yards to go. top he drops the easy pick number 11 was his intended target it's third down nine yards to go He's dragged down on the play. Yeah, that was definitely not a good play for the offense. I think they were anticipating a blitz to one side. They got it from the other side, and the quarterback ends up getting sacked on the play. It's fourth and long now after the sack. Bush fields it at the 29. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Throws middle of the field. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line by Cox. A gain of nine yards on the play. Second down and very short yardage here. Flips out short. He's brought down at about the 43-yard line by Mitchell. It's first and ten. Looks to the right. He's going for it all. Picked off. The Vikings get pick number two of the game. First down and 10. And the ball on their own 17. Orton gives it up the middle. He's wrestled down around the 28-yard line by Harper. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 28. Orton with the give. He's dropped down around the 31-yard line by Smith. They're looking at second down and six. Ball on their own 31. Hey. 
Orton. Pitch out. He lost yardage on the play. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. They're looking at third and nine. Ball on their own 29. Ops for a short throw. He's tackled around the 35-yard line by Shanley. Six-yard gain on the play. It's fourth down. The Vikings ready to punt this one away. Bush takes it at the 25. Takes it back to the 33. Cole was there to bring him down. It looks like there's a penalty. Boy, it's tough enough to try and stop an NFL offense, but when you give them extra chances, it is almost impossible. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. Gives it to the back. There's a flag on the play. And he's tackled at about the 21. By Greg. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Henderson is flagged for a hold on the play. So the penalty pushes them back for a first and long. He loads up for the deep throw. And do what you do. Second and long situation coming up here. Ball is on their own 11. Thomas gets a handoff to the right. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. So, at the end of three, our score, 20, three. We welcome you back to Minneapolis. The Saints are looking at a three-possession deficit as we start the fourth quarter. They'll throw for the first. Passes it short. He's brought down at about the 35-yard line by Henderson. First down, 10 to go. They're on their own 35. Good coverage downfield. He's loose and running strong. He's wrestled down around the 42-yard line by Griffin. It's first and ten. 
Ball on the 42. They get to him in the pocket and bring him down for the sack. Obvious passing situation here on second and long. The pocket collapsing. And they get to him. They're now looking at a third and long after the sack. Takes a lick as he lets it go. That pass rush didn't get there that time, but it got close enough to distract the quarterback and force him into a bad throw. Looks like they'll opt to go for it here. Going deep toward the left sideline. And he drops the short pick. Well, I certainly understand they felt like they needed to take a shot there. It just didn't work out. Give the defense a little credit for making the play. They'll go to work at the 43-yard line. First down and 10. Orton hands it off straight ahead. Minnesota recovers it. The coach can't be happy with him after that fumble. Priority number one has to be hanging on to the ball, right, Chris? Yeah, I guess it's so true. No team wants to give their opponent the chance to get a takeaway on a fumble, and I'm sure the coach will have a few choice words for him. You can bet the next time he touches that ball, he's going to be hanging on tight. He's dropped down at about the 33-yard line by Riley. It's third down now and just about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Number 32 on the inside handoff. Not much there, but they got enough to move the chains. Yeah, the defense really played that one pretty well, but anytime you get in those short yardage situations, you can't allow that ball carrier to fall forward. If he does, typically you pick up the first down. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. He's tackled at about the 31 by Dunbar. So they line up at the 31. They weren't able to get the playoff. That will cost them five. There might have been some miscommunication down there. With all the mass substitution that we have going on in the game today, sometimes the quarterback is more concerned about who he has in the huddle and his personnel groupings than with that play clock. Easy to make that mistake. 
Riley has been on a collision course with the ball carriers. That takedown marking his fifth tackle. So, on another third down attempt for the offense, third and long, coming up. Handoff up the middle. He doesn't get back to the line. What about that play call? Well, I always like to see an offense stay aggressive, I guess, but at least in this situation, it's a fourth quarter, you have the lead, I can understand the call. Fourth down. The Vikings lining up to punt. As they come back onto the field, what are your thoughts on what they should do here to get back into this game? They'll start at the 20-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. They might have missed time to snap on that one. You know, it's just five yards, but a penalty like that can really throw your offense off rhythm. You definitely have to now change the play call at this point. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. He gets the sack, and the offensive lineman didn't have much of a chance. <laughs> he delivered a perfect swim move, and he was into the backfield in a flash. That's a kind of his signature move, if you will, and he's had a lot of success using it to get to the quarterback. And it didn't look like the quarterback even saw him coming. Yeah, he gets back there so fast that even if you have quick reaction time, you're still going to get sacked. So they're looking at a second and long here after the sack. Throws to his left. Knocked loose before he could bring it in. Colston got blasted and just couldn't hang on. And you know you're going to get hit as a wide receiver. You've got to hang on to those balls, but that was a big shot. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own eight. He's searching for a receiver. They give up the safety. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Number six gets set to kick this one away after the safety. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line by number 51. First down, 10 to go. Passes it over the middle of the field. He's brought down around the 27-yard line. By number 36, Childs picks up two yards with the grab. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball spotted at the 27.
looking for a big gain down the middle. He's wrestled down right around the 40-yard line by Dunbar. It's first and 10. The ball is on their own 40. Moves left to avoid the rush. Number 11 was the intended receiver. So they'll face a second and 10. The ball is on their own 40. Throws to his right. He's dropped down around the 48-yard line by Riley. Well, that's an example of a very good play against pressure. They were coming after him, but the quick throw beat him. Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. Gives it up the gut. Yeah, they were lucky just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I don't like to call when you're in a third down situation. I'm paying the quarterback so much money. He's getting the ball there. It's fourth down. The Vikings are lining up to punt it away. And it's in the end zone for a touchback. So, Chris, what does this offense have to do to get them back into this game? The offense will take over at the 20. First down and 10. Searching for an open man. And the pass falls incomplete. Henderson was his intended target. They'll face second down and 10. Has a man to his right. And it's tipped away. Henderson was the intended receiver on the play. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. Ball is on the 20. Going down the middle with it. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. They go with the no huddle. Has a man out to his right. It's intercepted. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line by Colston. Now we have a first down. And 10 to go. Inside give. And he's tackled at about the 49-yard line by Adele.
It's now second and nine. Ball on their own 49. Hands it off. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. Here's a third and nine situation. Two minutes left in the ball game. Again, he'll get the call. He's brought down at about the 37-yard line by Harper. And we'll have a first down and 10. Number 32 will run it again. He's wrestled down around the 31-yard line by Greer. Brings up second down and five. And the play clock is at zero. This should be a delay of game. And the clock runs out. Delay of game. And you could tell from the beginning their wires were just crossed on that play. For some reason, the coaching staff and the quarterback just didn't communicate through that helmet the way they were trying to. They hand it off. And he'll lose yardage on the play. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. They line the ball up at the 39. That's going to do it from the Metrodome. Game stats and highlights are next. And let's take a look at the Gatorade Performer of the Game.